our first record got kind of mixed reviews, but this one, we've really only heard kind of positive reviews to it. Uh, I mean, if you Google search things like, uh, like extreme music threads in Russia and whatnot, you, I mean, things get kind of, um, the record itself gets kind of trashed all over the place. But anywhere else, I mean, in the States and, you know, uh, selective countries in Germany, uh, Germany and all that, I mean, we get relatively positive reviews, so we're happy with it. Basically, what we wanted to do was we just kind of uh, wanted to deal with sound that wasn't too overly studio polished. Um, we wanted to have sort of a more raw sound when it came to the drums and the guitars, uh, something that's kind of avoiding uh, the sound of, say, uh, the deathcore scene right now and bands like that. And basically just trying to encompass what we play live. So when people hear the record and then come see us when we play, that Basically, they just can't tell the difference. When we first started the band, we had pretty much every single member that was in it were came from sort of more metal band backgrounds, while uh, as band members quit, members got kicked out. We incorporated more band members who had sort of, uh, I'd say more sort of punk backgrounds, and that really influenced the way things sounded. Yeah, there's there's really not much to it. It's more, um, I mean, I I try to express things as best I possibly can, but I mean, in in reality, everything's just sort of Neanderthal lyrics and goon <laughs> lyrics. It's just real sort of just rock beating against heads kind of thing. Whether you're dealing with bands who admire people who came up like, say, uh, Slapshot, or if you're dealing with bands who de uh, who admire bands like Eternal Suffering, everybody comes from a different background, everybody sounds a different way, but I mean, again, they're completely different genres, completely different bands who uh, basically all have something different to say. <laughs> Again, it was just sort of encompassing the the sound of the band live and over the record is just again something conveyed that's not necessarily um, directed at you know the 16 year old crowds that are going out and simply buying records because they're on a specific label or liking bands because say a specific website directs them to. It's basically just our way of playing the music that we actually like to play without really caring. I've only been a singer for several years now. I was a bassist for I don't know, six, seven years in bands. But um, when it comes to vocal performances, I mean, again, him being one of the first sort of uh, extreme underground band singers I've ever seen, it was a huge influence on me. Yeah. 